This is actually uh, the next day. Um, yesterday, um, I was working on making this uh, little screw here, this little part. Um, and uh, when I put the stock in the lathe and then I started to run the, the uh, carriage feed, uh, it, it wasn't moving. So as it uh, has happened in the past, there's a little, little shear pin down inside here. Let's see, kick this out. All right, there's a little shear pin. And uh, I usually had two or three spares, but uh, <laughs> as luck would have it, I, I guess I would use them all up. So I had to make a couple new ones yesterday. And uh, so we're back today um, working on this, uh, making this uh, part here, which is actually uh, part, of <coughs> part of this assembly here. And uh, I'll take you over and show you what it goes to. Um, it actually, on this old brown and sharp uh, mill, I kind of liked the looks of this, uh, this old, old uh, equipment and uh, the way it was engineered and the way it was built. Just really nice. Uh, everything was about this was just nice. And you can uh, just uh, put the light wherever you need it. So my, uh, my idea originally was to uh, make a pair to go on my bridge port here. So I fabricated this piece here to look like the original here. So as you can see, it's fairly close. And uh, for what it is, I think it'll do just fine. Uh, I've tried several different lights on my bridge port and I've always just um, just had a just a hard time to see anything I want to do close up on this thing. So, uh, and some of the lights, previous lights I've had on here, uh, just didn't look the part. They looked looked bad. I didn't like the looks. Uh, I just purchased this light, which is a magnetic light. Uh, it works okay. But it will throw a shadow, if you got the uh, drill chuck in here, it will throw a shadow underneath. Um, so you do need some extra side lights coming in. I do like it for the small, like real small. This is like a 364 uh, cutter in there right now. It's really tiny, so you have no problem with working on real small stuff. But as you get into the bigger stuff, it does get to be a problem. So I was making a couple of... Uh, light brackets so this these are the original castings that uh, Brown and Sharp made and they're cast out of cast iron I'd like to take them down to uh, Clark's and cast new ones but uh, there's so many little pieces and he's so far behind it it's really scary so what I've done is I've took the original casting and made uh, my uh, my own version of them um, and this is oop. <laughs> okay so this is uh, another piece I made and the other piece so we're getting getting close we're just down to I got all the pieces pretty much made except for the little bolt that goes through which is a special bolt as I showed you a while ago. Um, this is the quarter 20, but it's got a uh, shoulder here, a square here, uh, and it's uh, got a tapered in there. So this is the part we're make, gonna make, and uh, let's see if we can get, get going again on it. Our part is not very long. It's uh, about an inch and three quarters overall length. 
And our stick out here is uh, nine and a half inches. And the reason I stuck it out so far is because this this shaft is just crap. <laughs> it's just a piece of, I don't know where it came from, uh, but it's just, it's junk. And um, and it's not, not real round. So <clears throat> what I want to do is kind of rough it in and uh, uh, see what we can do with it. Maybe we won't even end up using this piece, but uh, uh, I thought if I stuck it out, it, it wobbles a little bit. I figured the uh, uh, center, live center, would maybe hold it in uh, place so I can get the machining I want to get done here done. So let's go ahead and uh, get her going here. Check one thing here. This is a half an inch, but this square dog is three three sixty five. Okay, so we're still good there. Okay. that it's uh, actually undercut these corners stick out proud so we're still okay but we're at three we want to be down about 365 on our diameter here and we're at uh, 400 right now so we'll take uh, take another Another 30,000 cut here. I'd say we're there. And we'll just give it uh, a couple thou more. And we'll slow it down. Oh, I got it slow down. Slow now. Okay. Give it a little, uh, juice to, uh, off that's one thing I don't like about this lathe is it runs all the time or oh, it runs okay so we're just a couple of thousands under so that's good now our next <laughs>
Case number 310. <sighs> Another 50. assortment and this one happens to be what we want right off the bat quarter 20 so the way this works is you got your taper goes in the tailstock and then this this piece slips on here like so and then kind of hard to do with one hand and then this this drops in and this allows this allows you to let it feed on its own. Uh, but this taper is the wrong, too small, so we have to put an adapter on. And let's bring you over here to the, hook you back up so you're not getting car sick here from my running around here. And I'm gonna, 22% battery, so hopefully it'll last till we get this thing. I'll pull this out of the way and take the life center out. <clears throat> yeah, you can still see it. Okay. And wipe that. Always, I like to wipe this off with my hand. Feel any problems, and then this simply slips on like so. And I put the pull pin in there, and we just bring it up here. Uh, what I want to do first is knock that down a little bit. So. Wobbling there, can't you, huh? All right, I'll get you in a little closer. And a little rapid tap on here. out. I can pull this out. I'm going to unscrew this by hand. So, 
that completes that operation there. So we're going to have to shut you off here for a second and change batteries, come down to 18%. So be right back. All right, I don't know if this is going to end up on the cutting room floor or if I'm going to let you see this. But I made a, made a mistake, a rookie mistake here. Um, I started at this end. I should have started at this end with my uh, taper and where I was going to cut this off because I can't take anything off of this. This is already at the size that I want it to be. So uh, what I want to do here is simply just take this back. This goes down. This is the right size, I believe. Let's see. Uh, all right, we're at... Uh, Right at three, right at three hundred roughly, but here we're at uh, okay, we're at the three three sixty. So we gotta go down to three hundred. That's a little undercut under there. So, um, but I've turned this cutter to a forty-five degree angle, so I can come in here and just lay that cutter in there and get my forty-five. So let's do a little of that and see what happens. Five thousand more to go here. So it should have been a twenty five thousandth cut. Check. Twenty to go. I'd be dead, dead on them. Twenty thousand more would be right on the money. All right. So now that we've rectified that issue, we're back to our. This just gets cut off right here. We're down to there, so we got to give this a little more space back. We can probably go right back. I believe this is our going to be our square block. We're just going to machine this down to the quarter, and then finish threading that, and we should be good. So let's just take this back a little further. and repeat here. We're going to take out the life center. There we go. 
here just shred this on by hand. Basically, we're almost completed on this piece, but I've cut it off right here. I don't want to cut it off out, way out here, so I'm going to move it into the chuck here a little closer now. Parting tool in there, I think. Let's see. put this in a collet first. Let's see. Can you see what I'm doing here? No. If I part this off, then I've got nothing to hold on to to do this job. So I think what I'm going to do now is this in a collet, although this is not very round. Gosh. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's see. Let's see how a collet holds it. Walk over here in my collet assortment. And two of them didn't, two of them didn't put away. Okay. Let's see. Oop. Half inches. Half inch right there. Looks like the half inch will grip it. To get my glasses adjusted, I guess. All right, so that goes on there like that, keeping it loose for now. Slide this through like that. And yeah. 
This may work, it may not work. Let's see if we can tighten this up a little bit here. That grabbed it pretty good. Okay, well this isn't, uh, nothing critical about this. We just have to get four sides on this baby. So, <clears throat> next step is go over to the bridge port and chuck it up in there. All right, let's head over there. Zero that. All right. I've set the uh, quilled forty seven point five. Let's see what happens. should be it except for parting it off and cutting off some of these threads although the threads don't really matter they can be extra long <coughs> so let's see what we got here looks pretty good I got a little bit of a overhang here Hit that with a file and be okay. Huh. I don't know why that one that one seemed to miss. Let's take that back in there and see see what happened here. I'll run that back over here and see. Taking this out of here. And parting it off in the lathe. So let's head over to the lathe.
Okay. Oh. All right. So here's our original part, and here's our our new part. Uh, nothing critical. Uh, but that's that's one. <laughs> one more to go. Okay, guys. Uh, stay tuned. We'll uh, bring you up to date on the next uh, next step. All right. Like and subscribe, as I say. Okay, I thought I'd show you how these uh, pieces go together. This is the part, the original part we duplicated. And it fits inside of this piece here. It drops in like so. And then you can see it's made to clear. And then this next piece here. This piece fits on there and it's got a square square hole so that this can rotate on the ball here. Let's see, back a little bit, get a little more. Okay, and then this piece drops on like that, hooks in there. And then this wing nut. Pretty fancy wing nut in it. That goes on there like that. So the you got one rod goes through here and another rod goes through there and uh, see here kind of like that and then uh, this one goes up in through this one up here sort of like that so that's your and this will pivot on the pipe this way because there's another piece that straps there's a this piece drops in here like so and then there's a another piece that fits around here and presses down on this little little spring that's going to be a trick I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that but we'll see we'll figure something out I'm sure I got this close Anyway, uh, this is the piece I made. It's a new bolt. This is the old, old wing nut, but uh, still works the way the old original did. Just pivot here, turns, so you can get all the adjustments you need for your light. So that's how that works, guys. A lot more work than I. <laughs> I first thought, but most things are most things are that way.